I'm from the South Bronx, just like you. Oh, you are? 100%. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, 100%. You know, born and raised, I love the BX, I love my people. And I didn't have a mentor. I just didn't. Yeah. I didn't have yeah. that teacher or yeah. that person who saw anything in me that would say, Sean, you can make it out. You, you like, like believe in you. I just didn't have it. So the That's reason so sad, why man. I do what I do is because I want to speak to a generation who don't have mentors. Yes. Who, and, and, and not just don't have mentors because in my case, I just feel as though nobody took a personal interest in me. But me maybe those same people never saw themselves as great. They never saw themselves as anything more. So how could they take me under their wing? Yes. And even if I am that mentor from afar, I need people to know you are greater than the circumstances you were born into. You Absolute are. Fuck. I don't Absolute. care what your yesterday was. It doesn't Absolute. have to be your tomorrow. So that's what drives me. But I'm talking to a fellow exec, and we've spoken almost nothing about the industry. What is it that drives you? What's your why? My, my personal why? No, yeah, but or, or, or you're saying what drives you is what's your that's your why. Like I always tell people before you even start something, you have to have a why. Because my why, your why is what keeps you in your weakest moment in it. And I really believe that if God doesn't agree with the why, God doesn't bless you. I don't know how to explain it any, I don't want to be like the most religious guy, but I believe that if he knows your heart and your reason for getting up and trying to, even when you're wrong, he, he bless those steps. He, he watches over those steps. And I'll be honest with you, that's the only thing that kept me going. Cause in my mind, it's like, how could you not bless someone that's not doing it for him? How could you not, like, I don't give a fuck what none of these people say. How could you not bless someone who you know is not doing it for him? Like, you know, when he go out there, he takes on these punches. He's taking punches for people that don't even know that they're going to benefit from them fucking punches. I just, I, I just could not be okay living in that kind of world where the people who are willing to do it for something bigger than themselves are not supported and protected in a unique way. I just can't exist in that world. I don't know how that world exists. I, that's the world that I live in. It's gonna work somehow. It's like, it might, you, you might lose trying to do A, but B was waiting for you. You didn't even have a plan B, but B somehow came and caught you. I believe that. I, I, dog, nobody wakes up in the morning thinking that yesterday was the best day of my life and today is gonna be worse. The only thing that wakes us up is hope. There you hope go. And faith that, hope and faith that my better days are in front of me. So with that being said, I just, I just stuck with that. Like, I think my better days are in front of me, but I'm not gonna go to sleep until I do everything in my power to somehow ensure that shit. Do you take this same approach, Ray, when signing artists? Do you go into it thinking to yourself, because you, like me, we've worked with some, I mean, we just work with some dickhead artists. Like, like I'm about to say, I, 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 you know, you know what I would say. The best way I can describe it is, is I have a rule. Like, I have to love you poor, because I'm only gonna like you Ooh, when you get. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. Say that again slow. Go ahead. <laughs> I have to love you poor, because I'm only gonna like you when you get rich. If I like you poor, that means I'm gonna hate the rich version of yourself. Talk that talk. So for me, it's like, what I try to do is, um, you know, my girl told me this one day, cause you know, it's funny cause this is like the greatest lesson she's ever taught me. She said, she said, you know, when I step out the house, 
I'm either going to be in competition of these young girls or I'm going to be their goal. Like, so I think, so I took that on and you know, she just said it and it was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you realize what you just said? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Like I live by that now. So I say to people, I try to be the example of what you want to be if what you could be if you did it right. I'm the example of someone who is 41, everything in my life is paid for, house paid off, everything is paid off, mother don't have to work, and yet I'm still cool as fuck to you. Because, and you know, sometimes when you're 25, 40 seems so far away, but it's not. And what you do today is gonna to affect what you how your life at 40. So let me show you how not to make those bad decisions, but I'm not gonna change you. Let me be go, I'm go. Everybody wants to be older and rich and wiser, right? Older, richer, and wiser. I'm that for you. I'm not gonna be in the way. I'm only gonna be the goal. I'm only the person. So that means I'm never coaching you for me. I'm never coaching you for my own good. I'm only coaching you from a place of you becoming the goal for the kids coming up after you. Mm -hmm. So I think when you go into it from a pure place, even if you have a dickhead, it's like, I'm not a dickhead and I'm good. And I got, and this is the best part about me. I'm in it with the same people I started with. That's what success is. What the fuck, you know how they always say, what does a man gain if he loses his soul? Or mm -hmm. what does a man gain if he loses everyone he loves on the way there? Wow. That's So my mind is like, I know you might say this to your manager. Like I've had so many people like, I don't want to fuck with him no more. I'm like, you're going to go give y'all dream to somebody else because he fucked up. Talk to your man. Because let me tell you why. Cause you're gonna walk into a room full of sharks that's only gonna love you because of what you got. And that motherfucker loved you when you didn't have. Fix it with him. Fix it with him. Like, you know what I mean? You wouldn't believe, I mean, people came to me like, I don't wanna work with them no more. I'm like, so you're gonna go work with somebody who don't know you, who don't care about you. Who's gonna make decisions best, what's best for them, not you. Stay with the person that you with. Even if he fucked up, give him a chance. Cause everybody fuck up. I used to fuck up. We all did. We, it's, it's, it's inevitable. So. It's human. Don't punish him because he made a mistake or her. Stay with them. Like I'm all about family. I'm all about like, I look at this shit like we all in the mafia. Like we have to protect each other. We are a village. You know, everybody can't be the boss. Everybody can't be like, I got a cousin. I got a cousin that live with me that my family was like, he gonna be homeless. Well, guess what? I made him my maintenance man in my house. Hey, hey he, he has purpose now. He wakes up happier now. He's like, man, I never thought my life was going to be like this. Exactly. And guess what? He done fucked up. He done been locked up. He done fucking did all types of stupid shit. And every time he did it, I didn't turn my back on him. I treated him the same way I would treat him if he did something good. I didn't, I didn't go high. I didn't go low. I stayed right here. Like, hey, look, this is how you end up outside. Because you did this. You got to change. I'll, like I say, I get to that why. Why the fuck did you do that? Man, I don't know. See, you haven't figured out yet that you don't have to do that. But you want it so quick right now that you fucking felt like I got to go scam today. Look at me. I'm the richest person in our family. And I ain't never scammed to get a dollar the dollar I'm making now. I'm not saying I didn't still want to do stupid shit when I was a kid, but I'm saying I am proof that it is possible if you stay on the right and narrow and you, but you got to give it your best. I'm the goal. And I'm, and I'm building on that every day of my life. And so that's why when I don't even, that's why I can't even get caught up in who I am. I gotta get caught up in why I am. Cause if I don't lose my why, I never lose. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.